Okay, Mr. Starlight Stratos winner, Mr. Cook, can you tell us a little bit about the deck, your idea, any combos that you might have pulled off? Sure. So this build is the third version of this build. Um, the night before the tournament, uh, Yumi and Brian actually went through this deck. <laughs> I was going to run Ultimate Offering Zombies, which is a thing for a different time, and switched over to a more conventional build. It was slightly different than this, and then afterwards I just sort of made a few more changes. Um, for example, you can see here, uh, I'm not running Foolish Burial. Mm -hmm. uh, that was something I took out. I was actually also running 3D Prison, and I wasn't running t three Kai's, I was running two. Well, and I wasn't maining the Crow. What made you want... Oh, I, I love the Crow main. This is filthy. It just it catches so many people by surprise. What made you change to the three Kai's? Uh, there was a matchup against someone at our local where they're running... They're basically running a deck that makes zombies run the way they're, they're intended to. Basically, I just put out as much damage as I can early and then... You know, in that particular case, they were at less than a thousand. So Caius contributing and banishing itself wins me the game. Mm -hmm. um, and I had two, and they were both at the bottom of my deck. It's whatever. Um, I made one or two plays I probably shouldn't have, but Caius is probably the best card in the format, or one of them. And this deck can abuse it like no other because I run two Tomato, two Pyramid Turtle, and you also run the Reaper. Mm -hmm. And you, and if you really need it, you have Plague and you have Zombie Master. Then you have your Trag and your Gores options, of course. So, and the Book of Life count as additional zombies, in my opinion. So you have easy ways to get it out. It gets you to the eight stars. Um, your opponent has to respond to it. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's insane. Kai yeah, just so just good. just from watching you play, like even with the Kai's and everything, I feel like every time I walk by your duel, I just see options, and that's how it was during the the tournament. Every time I walk by, it's either you were winning or you were setting up. There was never like a really losing point. You know what I mean? Yeah, the way the deck works, or the way I use it, mm -hmm. if I have a recruiter, I I'm fine as long as I like the like the previous video where we op opening we had what was it Diva and plague mm -hmm. that was probably the one of the worst ways you can open but as you saw you know we just we got in the lore and then the entire deck opened up all it took was one recruiter that's all it took and the whole deck just it just felt like we went from having two options to having the whole deck in our hands and the opponent you know they they even hit us with oh so they hit us with a fossil dyna when uh -huh. we had three monsters in the field it took out two of them and we were fine. You know, we weren't sitting there. It really didn't hurt us that much. In fact, they it probably us, helped us. They hit us with the Fossil Diner twice. They did hit us with the Fossil Diner <laughs> twice. They called. That's right. That was that was a strong play. And then you're just like, oh, I'm just going to crash, go plus off your own card, and I'm still going to hit you in the face. Yeah, and that's that was the one time where if we didn't search the Reaper, if we did do it, you wanted to search the Goblin Zombie, we could have ran with the Turtle and then brought the Reaper and hit the last card in their hand. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I, I mean, the basic, the basics of the deck. You have the three Kaias, you have the two Diva. Mm -hmm. I ran three for the longest time, and I never really knew why. I just thought, oh, if I draw, you know, two of them, I can use one, or if I one gets stopped but for some reason, I could use the other. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as I went to two, it just it made more sense. It's just such a good card, um, but it's a card I never want to see mm -hmm. multiples of. So. Once I use it once, I don't have to worry about it. Ever again. Um, yeah, but there's no TK with it. So if you have Diva, Goblin Zombie, with Goblin Zombie on the field, um, a Burial from a Different Dimension, and any spell or trap, you can put out exactly 8,000 damage on the board. Oh, this is a combo you were talking me, you were telling me about, right? Yeah, yeah. so we can actually run through it. Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. So run through it. So if you have a Goblin Zombie set... Whatever, actually, do you, you want your... me to... Let me actually just... There's a way to do a solo duel, and I could just do that with this deck. And we could actually just run through the combo, if, if you're okay with that. Yeah, of course. So... Uh, I'm just going to take all the cards that we need, and the, your opponent needs one monster or one card, right? Um, yeah, they need one. They, well, they can have one. Um, this can work if they have nothing, although it, ideally they have something, because you don't want them just to be sitting there with an open board. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, because it's re reasonably they wouldn't just be sitting there with an open board. Like, let's say they set a Reich or something. So this is what you said you needed? Yeah, so we just need, like, a, another spell or trap. Just, okay. like, any spell or trap in our hand. We'll just... It's a pretty reasonable card. I'm not saying you'd play it, because I'm sure that would extend the combo even oh, more. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. So <laughs> basically, you summon the D.Va. Mm -hmm. You get out the second D.Va. Summon the D.Va. Okay. And then you synchro into a Brio. And we're going to get Mizuki off of this. This is why I love this deck. I feel like once it gets started, it just does not stop. Okay. Right, so then what we would do is if they do have something, we ditch the Brio or do we ditch the Mizuki target their target whatever they have? Mm -hmm. I can't even remove that because I put it on their board, so we're just gonna right. pretend that's gone. Or we'll pretend it's not there. <laughs> so then we'll banish the Mizuki, summon Goblin Zombie. We're gonna go into, let's see, we're gonna go into another six. We're gonna go into Goyo, and we're gonna search for Zombie Master. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the back row. We're going to ditch Zombie Master to send our back row back to our hand. So you could actually hit two cards on their board with this exactly. combo. Exactly. Yep. Wow. So you don't even need that other card. You don't card. need that. It's just one of those that they tease set, which is usually how they do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's if, if I know they play like a D prison or something, or if, they, if I know that they are more reserved with how they use their resources, I will use this as early in the game as I can, because even if they hit me with a counter punch, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've used my Mizuki, sure. My Plague is still in play. My Return is still in play. Um, I've called a Haunted. I have my three Caius. I have basically my entire engine. Yeah, this is literally still left. three cards, which are all very easy to get in this deck. Right. And then, so what we'll do now is we'll Burial. Mm -hmm. And we'll just send the Mizuki back. And then, let's see. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a spell card, it was a monster card. So oh, it was, okay. it was, right. So the way, the, basically the way the board's going to end is you're going to have Boyo, Brio, Zombie Master, and Plague Spreader. Or not Plague Spreader. Um, Goblin Zombie, Zombie Master, oh, Boyo, and Brio. You're gonna, so you're going to be using the Zombie Master. Yeah. And so keep in mind, at this point, they have nothing on their board. Yeah, so you, you bounce two cards. Right, so that's exactly AK damage right there. That is beautiful. And even if they clear this, you do get the search. You used three cards, four cards. Real, like, one, one card was on board, which probably came from one of your million recruiters, which is the Goblin Zombie. That's crazy. Right, and we only used one recruiter. We used it twice. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing with zombies that people are, are like Fraser Smith talked about this a bit. Mm -hmm. If you know you're playing zombies, the last thing you want to do is attack a set card, because if it's a zombie master or not zombie master, if it's a recruiter, goblin zombie, or whatever, you know, I'm 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 going plus off of it. You're basically using your attack, and I'm getting whatever. Mm -hmm. If you leave it there. I can do the play that we, we can do the play we just did. I can tribute for Caius. We can, you know, I can force out a play from like the opponent. There's so many ways. Mm -hmm. I, the deck just one card counters of so many things. Um, it's crazy. It, it's one of those things where people say like it's S tier, but they say it's S tier because it just has that amazing potential to, to kill you, and it does. It can that this deck can kill you from eight thousand. I killed someone when they were at. 85 um that was the du the du kaiser mm -hmm. play that i was talking about earlier where i revived king their plague and i had called the haunted set i had a return and i had a mizuki in and, I, and basically they bottomless my mizuki and i had a plague in grave so i top deck for plague um synchroed into i think it was revive king mm -hmm. i returned my Mizuki and my Plague back to the to the field. Went to Doom Kaiser, brought back their Plague, synced with my Revive King to go into an eight. Banished Mizuki, summoned Plague. Um, I I mean I did it with my Doom Kaiser, so my Doom hit yeah, the yeah. grave. 
Banished my Mizuki, summoned Doom Kaiser, brought their plague back, used it again, then called oh, my Mizuki. This is my every Kaiser. time this is special. That every is time filthy. it's special. Right, so it's not once it's synchro, it's when it's special summoned. That is very filthy. I don't know why people are cutting this card. It, it is. Um, I didn't know that. I thought it was when it was synchro summoned. This is the card that makes people side plague spreader out of their, their deck. This and Zombie Master. I'm going to side plague spreader out against you now. <laughs> yeah, every single person who plays against me, who like they, as soon as they know I'm playing this card or they see I'm playing zombies, they will side out their plague. Mm -hmm. And for them, it hurts. It hurts a lot more than people think. Um, like someone at a local, two people play Amarillo's plant, and one of them beat me with a plague spreader, like in game one. Mm -hmm. He sided that thing out so quickly, game two, just because. Was that uh straight out of Compton? Was that Nick? No, I was uh, I was Sam. Oh, Sam. Okay, I've, I'm. It was Sam. Good for him siding it out. That's a good catch. Yeah, it's. I hate when people do that. Um, but I love during the games mm -hmm. where they will see the plague hit their grave, and the next turn they go out of their way to banish it. I mean, but one thing I love doing, I'll bury off into a different dimension of back and just use it, which I've done. Their before. own plague. That's that's good too. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, burial is good that way. I also love burialing. Like when they gold sark something, I'll burial it back like the next turn so they don't get it. Uh huh. So I'll set up their entire play. They draw and then I just burial it back standby so they don't get it. That's really good. Yeah, the deck is. It's the thing I like about it. It's fun. Uh -huh. it, it's it's fun. It's you know you can enjoy the game. Um. And there, there's no set way to play it. You can do. Yeah, like me and you were looking at two completely different plays, which I I definitely agree your play was better. But like you could go crazy, you could play controlly, you could play so many different ways with this deck. It feels like. Right, and the thing is, that's what I like about that's what I like about Edison. It's just you play how you want to play. There's no. I'm trying to think. It's just about like if you look at fairies, mm -hmm. your end conditions are JD or Christia. If your black wings your name isn't Glick, it's playing <laughs> it and not getting double clue. Mm -hmm. um, if you're playing frogs, it's okay. Just you know, get your dupe block and then have like your your, your monarch control, um, like that. If it's heroes, you need like the thing about heroes, like once they make their big play, that's it. Yeah, it's top um, deck miracle fusion after that. That's it. Yeah, like value. It's like oh, like you have multiple values you can use, but you got to get to them. Um, that new Gemini deck that I've been hearing about, I've been looking into it. Like that deck is that deck is very similar to Zombie, mm -hmm. but it needs offering to go off. But once it does, it's just you have Giga Plant. Yeah, so, I've, I've played against that deck. It's uh, definitely explosive. But it, it's fun. Um, the biggest issue I have with this deck is I terrible at siding with it, um, which is why if you noticed earlier with the side deck. Mm -hmm. I never have more than five, maybe six cards for any specific matchup because I just don't know how to side anymore. Like for Frog, I would side in three pull in the rug, Soul Release, DD Crow, and Kaiku. Those yeah. are my six. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't even side Fossil Dino, but I guess Soul um, Change kind of ruins that. I would if, you know, if I could. If it's one of those, I would love to put Fossil Dino in there. Sometimes I do. If I'm going first, um, if I'm it depends if I'm going first or second. Um, but like recently I've realized more and more that if you just get rid of the the treeborns, uh, the deck isn't a hundred percent, you know, done. Mm -hmm. But their monarch engine is done. Yeah, it's, that's a lot of their engine. Right, and then like you have the hero portion, which. Like, and maybe some people are playing Junk Synchron, which I think I actually like that. I think it makes sense. People are using it with one for one. Mm -hmm. But then I look at Black Wings. Dust Tornadoes are going in. Um, maybe the Kaikus. Or maybe the Kaiku. Um, not really sure. Mm -hmm. um, just because I don't want to shut off their value play. But yeah. But also, it's like a good point for Cyber Dragons. Like Black Wings is just a weird matchup for this deck. Um if I go first, I can set up a board. I pretty, I do pretty well. Mm -hmm. Acres Attack is a pain in that pain in the ass, though. Honestly. Yeah, I mean it is for every deck, and I'm assuming Spear Reaper comes out against Black Wings. Oh yeah, Spear Reaper comes out. Um, still, Book of Life comes out. Mm -hmm. um, mine and Brain Control stay in because they're so good against that deck, and we run Gale, and we run Armor Master. That's true. Um, 
Wing Blast probably comes out in this against this matchup too because we're replacing it with a Dust Tornado. Mm -hmm. um, is there another monster I get rid of? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so for, for Black Wings, it's the three Dust Tornado and the Kaiku, usually. Yeah. Um, for Frogs, it's the three Pull in the Rug, Soul Release, um, Crow, and Kaiku. Mm -hmm. Although the Kaiku can be... You can swap the Kaiku for a Fossil Dina, honestly. Yeah. Um... When I side out in the frog matchup, I side out. Uh, let's see, I side out the wing blast. I side out. Makes sense. You uh, don't want to. You don't want to give him another Caius. Yeah, I side out the book. A book of life. Mm -hmm. Um. So rule of thumb, book of life always comes out at least one. Yeah, because if you draw, if you draw two of them opening hand, unless you draw like a god tier hand, it's just you really aren't really gonna need two book of life. Um. Unless it's a really grindy kind of game, mm -hmm. but especially with a deck like Frogs, where if they aren't getting their combo off, they will manage their grave really well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen some frog decks side oppression in. I'm not really sure why they would do that because it messes up their treeborn. But you know, well, it, it, does, it doesn't it, really mess up the treeborn because they could just keep using it, right? Well, the treeborn needs to have a clear back row, doesn't it? Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was thinking about it from the other side. You're right. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if that's not the case, your boy's busted. Yeah, that'd be um, insane. Yeah, let's see against. Um, there's not a lot of mirror match at, like around where we are, but if I were to base mirror match, there might be soon. Yeah. But yeah, I would side <laughs> in. So I'm gonna mean, yeah. I mean, full transparency here. Um, I would side in Kaiku. I would side in Soul Release. I would side in the Crow. I probably sat in the crow. Um, I'd also let's see. I don't think I'd sat in the dust tornadoes. Mm -hmm. um, I would consider setting in nobleman. Oh, for all the battle recruiters. So I only play one nobleman for one reason. Um, I play it specifically for Ryko. Yeah. So, but I'll tell you, I've moved nobleman from my side to my main deck zero times since I put it in there. It is not seen any play but it's for the case where if i'm able to go first or go second and i know like they, like they're able to get it i shut down a big portion of their deck and their milling engine and it also makes their hamsters useless so i shouldn't really need more than one that makes sense if i'm playing zombies if you know them in any of the recruiters turn one the odds of them having a second one in their hand are very slim and sets them back to an irrecoverable state. So if you remove a pyramid turtle or a tomato or even a goblin zombie or a sangan, I'm sitting there saying, I need to take another turn to set up my board while you're already, you know, doing your thing. Very true. Yeah. But siding out becomes a mystery because this is a case where you want to keep your second book of life in there. Mm -hmm. Um it's weird because there's there's very few cards that you want to take out. Uh, maybe the Gale could probably come out. Um, let's see the Gale. The Wing Blast isn't bad, but it's one of those. It's one of the lesser cards that you want to have. Right. It's like the only thing that really hits, poor, like that really hurts, is like a Synchro and the Plague if it's been top decked for. You'd be going um, second too, so the Dust Shoot. Yeah, and you know the bottom was for the Zombie Master. Um, yeah, it, it's a weird matchup. So yeah. if anything, if I had to really whittle it down, I would just side in the Soul Release and the Kaiku. And okay. maybe the Third Crow. And it's for the Gale. Um, a set, uh, maybe the Second Book of Life, I'm not even sure. Mm -hmm. If you're going second, the Dust shoots an instant side out, which is really good. Yeah, there's just not a lot of pure zombie match mirror matches. Um, it usually devol de devolves into who sets their board up, or who basically has all their resources, which... Who draws better. Or who just happens to, like, who makes the first move. Because whoever... If you make the first move, you usually win, because if you do it the right way, you have a backup. Like, this isn't a... You don't... It's not basically all my chips on the table mm -hmm. now counter me. It's like, yeah, I'm going to make a big bet. You're going to counter that. I'm like, oh, cool. I still have this in reserve. 
Yeah. So and that, then it, yeah. That's what I feel like I need to learn and most people need to learn from the deck is you don't just put it all out. You put enough out where you could still come back if you lose it. Right. Like the slightest overextension, like in the Stratos tournament in the last round of Swiss, game two, playing a value turbo guy, mm -hmm. I'm hitting him for damage with the tomato. And he has a two back row, and I see hitting with the tomato. And I had dust shooted earlier, and I saw he had a mirror force. So I, I flip over my second monster, which was a recruiter. I start attacking, and he mirror forces me. I end up losing way later in the game because of it. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those, I had no reason to do that. Like, he wasn't responding to that one recruiter, but now I gave him a way to basically two for one, yeah. two of my five. Makes, yeah, so he told, of course you're going to take that. Yeah, and then I that's the I think it now I think about it. That's probably one deck that really hurts me because of Deck Devi. Deck yeah. Devi is really good against this deck. Um Hero Beat. Uh it's not the <sighs> Gemini Spark's good against everything, but um Let's see. I'm I'm not even I mean I'm not I'm not amazing at this game, but it's just more about well, I'm trying to think of what decks I've had trouble with. Um, but Amarillo's playing gives me a rough time because Titanial is really hard to... Uh, an established Titanial for it's this deck for, is almost impossible to beat. Hard for any deck to out that card. Yeah. That's, that, yeah that, that makes the deck. The fact yeah, that I'll, I just established this Titanial. Although I will say, if you... I actually got to crow their Mark of the Rose just as I, I had a Reaper on board. And if they didn't get to their Plague Spreader... I would have won that game by deck out. <laughs> because they just couldn't get to it. Oh, man. All right, uh, man. Well, Yeah, that's... A, I'm sorry, yeah. No, 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 don't, don't. That's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I'm just... I'm thinking of all the things I got to change to my deck now for Friday or tomorrow because <laughs> I totally... I learned more from playing against the deck just from learning you talk about the deck, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because in my I mind... I still have some of the cards for you, too. I, I'm, hold, I'm holding two divas in my hand right now. I, oh, okay. I, I was like, "Damn, I need a third one." I seriously, I, I had my wife open up some gold series packs, and I'm like, "Hey, you know, pull whatever." I didn't know divas came in these, so I'm holding two. And I thought, "I need a third diva, and I need a Gilman now." And now I'm looking at the list. I'm like, "I have everything I need." Yeah. So, the biggest thing I would say with this deck is. Mm -hmm. When you like, I'll, I'm and just like side note, I'm gonna be there. I can be there a little bit early tomorrow if you want to like play test or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna have the deck ready. I'm probably gonna be playing something else tomorrow. But uh, this deck, I'm gonna be seeing what else I'm missing. Yeah, it, it's so much fun. Trag is also a huge part of it, which you really didn't get to talk about. Um, you have so much flexibility, and it also does help running the third Caius with Trag. Um, there are times where I will discard Caius mm -hmm. to take a six sync, a six star synchro. Um, or I'll basically just be like, cool, give me your synchro, cool, copy Kaius level, cool, summon two star, cool, eight star. Yeah. It's like, like, two cards. It's crazy. It's crazy how much you could do with two cards. Yeah, the hand advantage is the massive. That's like, I know it's like informational for but the mm -hmm. hand advantage this deck produces because of all the recruiters and everything, if I sit behind a pyramid turtle or a goblin zombie that you, I know you're afraid to attack. By the time you attack it, I'm like, cool. I have three more cards in my hand, and you are constantly uh, using back row on me. You have you have two cards in your hand, one on the field. I have six cards in my hand, one on my field. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. Yeah. All right, man. Look, tomorrow we'll definitely get some practice games in. Thank you again for coming in here and teaching some zombies. I feel like there's not enough zombie videos. On yeah, there's not medicine. a lot of them. Well, it, not a lot of people know how to play this. It, it takes a lot of uh, intelligence to play this deck. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Um, I am not. I That is uh, that's big praise. However, I still misplay with it quite a bit. But the most important thing is that you comment, like, subscribe to the <laughs> this, channel. This guy. <laughs> Dameless <laughs> plugs here. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. All right. And we started. Let's see if we could find somebody, or we're just probably just going to end up hosting because everybody just likes to wait until somebody hosts. That's your show how I do it. Yeah. I do, you got to add me on here. I, I haven't, I don't know what your, uh, is it just uh, Jay Cook as well?
Um, it should be. Uh, actually, let me double check that. I just got some random. You're not a wrestling fan at all, right? I used to be back in the day. Bray Wyatt passed away just now. Really? Wow. To like today? Or yeah. like recent? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it just it just came down. Do do, do they know what happened or? Um, unexpected. I just completely unexpected. You know. Holy crap. Oh my god, everybody wants to play. Let's go with Blue Bandit first come first serve. What, what are you, rock, paper, scissors guy? I am a paper guy because oh. it is right there. And then I will pick paper again. He's just like, yo, am I playing you? Did you just, you nah, know it's not me, that's not me, but you're going to pick paper again. Am I just going to keep hitting paper until he changes yeah, his mind? Yeah, you, yep. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking real hard. Oh, you big brain <laughs> man. This is, this is how you won. Right, this is that's the reason you won. I just I, I, and people ask me why I do that. I'm just like, it's right there, and my mouse is over it. That is not a good hand, but you have dust shoot. That I do have dust shoot. So what are you thinking here? Um, do we set the plague or do we go for the turn one? And well, we don't. Well, we don't. Wait, we don't run Gilman in this build, so it's just the two diva. Oh God! Right, so this is so this is definitely happening. Right, so you said the, the dust shoot. I would say set plague and end. Are we dust shooting on standby phase or draw phase? Yeah, right? we're gonna we're gonna dust shoot right away. Oh, this definitely has to be the, the dino. It right? has um, definitely the dino. Okay, his hand's not that good Diva compared to what we actually have. Nice spark. You can type that out in chat. You know that, right? Yeah, I, I know, but I just wrote it in our own chat. I, I'm, oh, okay. Works, I'm trying yeah. to I'm trying to be better about not writing it here, like just remembering, because you can't type it out in real life, you know. Yeah. Unless you're, you know, you pull the Alfieri, just take out the notepad and take out the oh, pen from God. behind your ear. <laughs> I don't think that's legal in Edison, right? The hey, I think it is. I think you can take out notes. I mean, it depends on the tournament. Yeah. All right, but yeah, I think he's. Well, he's got to be on some diva heroes. Sure thing, my yeah, friend. It's obviously diva heroes. It's just... Let's see if he draws the Stratos off the top. Like they all do. Oh, he's going to attack? Um... No, nah, he's just boosting. Oh, he is going to attack. That's interesting. What He'll probably attack with the Gilman. Yep. So you'll take 600. You're fine with that. He's probably going to go Android. Um... So the big thing with this deck is you just is as soon as you get a recruiter like a tomato or goblin zombie or or a turtle you're fine, mm -hmm. um, or even a sangin. It's just yeah, it, it's one of those. It takes a lot of setup. Yeah, because he also has back row now. The thing is, he doesn't have judgment, so yeah, there's a few things you can get here. Um, he has the compulse, the prison, the bottomless. If I was him, I'd be setting the compulse. For sure. Let's get a dark. Let's get a monster here. Okay, so Gale's pretty good. You can do two things to that. You can allure, or you can just play the Gale. But I feel like if we play it, it's either one of the because you said two. So let's assume one of them is bottomless. The other one's compulsor deep prison. You know. Right, and if you have on priority, he's going to let it go. Yeah. And then it's yeah. one of you attacks. The, yeah. I think he set the. I think that he. I don't know. I you could just allure because your hand is pretty bricked right now. I I agree. I think allure is. We need to. There we go. Oh, Let's... that's perfect. So yeah, you get rid of the gale. Um. Do we triple set here? Y yeah, you set the turtle. Set the two. We know at the very worst case he has set the compulse, and if he bounces the monster, he bounces the monster. Yeah. You're not really afraid of anything there. I mean, he's seen Plague Spreader go. These are pretty wide. Yeah. Like, these are pretty... So his hand is at two back row blank. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's got probably Spark in hand. One of the back rows and blank. As long as he doesn't draw one equal or Roto or Stratos, we're good. Because if he synchros, we deprison. His Compulse can't save it. Or do we? Do, would you let an attack go in this kind of scenario? Say that again. Let's say he synchros, 
and he goes to attack. Would you de-prison just to take the plus, or would no. you let the attack go? I let the attack go. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and let that attack go. What are we bringing out with this? Goblin battle? zombie. You're bringing out goblin zombie. Damn, not even a second of hesitation. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, you bring out defense. I think people forget about pyramid control. You can bring it out in defense. Okay. Yeah, so, I was just reading that. I just realized I'm like, oh yeah, it doesn't have to be an attack like a tomato. But I want to see if he, I want to see if he compulses here. I don't think he will. He probably just synchro into mm -hmm. whatever. Now here's the thing: you have a solemn set. I was You're just not going to You don't solemn to synchro, but if you I'm probably solemn to compulse, right? Right. Because let's see. The way this is going to play out... That's the new card, right? He didn't shuffle. He did not shuffle. Oh, that's okay, a I'll, I'll great draw! Okay, so this just became much easier. Um, Do we even solemn the Compulse now? No. So, start with D.Va? You summon D.Va. He'll probably... I want, let's see if he compulses the Goblin Zombie right off the bat. If he does that, we're Black Rose in the field. Okay. I, oh, thank you. I'm, I just, I'm not a fan of when people... I, I love the little thumbs up thing. Yeah. So, okay. let's see. So, what do we... So, there's two things we can do. We can mind control and then do something. Or we can... I think actually maybe synchroing and getting... The search off the goblin zombie run off the rip is fine. Okay. Even though then we're not going to be able... Like, if we mind control it, he could just synchro. Oh, we have the plague. Yeah. Okay, so we synchro with these two. What are we going to here? Brio? Um, we're not going to be able to activate Pryo because we want to keep both those in hand. Uh huh. Um, we could go Gaia here. The, the whole point of what we're trying to do mm -hmm. is we want to force out something. Yep, that's fine. We're completely okay with that. What are we and adding? here, we want to get. This is interesting. So there's a few things. We have a plague and grave. We have a burial in hand. Um, it's crazy how this hand just turned into something real in the right. Of so seconds. we can go Mizuki. We can go another Goblin Zombie. We can do Spirit Reaper. It's a few things. Um, we know he has a spark. That may have been what he just said. I'm not even sure. Well, that was the new card. So maybe he drew a second bottomless because that was the new set over here, right? Because yeah. before he had these two set, he set there. So maybe he did shuffle his hand and we missed it. Hmm. I'm just greedy and I like the Mizuki, but I think uh, that the Goblin Zombie is a better can go, play. We can go Mizuki, honestly. Okay. So. Are we still going for the mind control play? Yeah, yeah, we're still going to go mind control. He's probably going to compulse the Diva. Mm hmm. And then would you Solemn or Top Deck for Plague? Well, if we Top Deck for Plague, we can't really... Oh, actually, no, we could. If we do that, we still have the Burial. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just have this sort of... We have this dead D.Va that he doesn't know is dead. You only play two D.Vas? Yep. You mad lad. There it is. So... Let's see. Because we know the last card is Deep Prison. Right, so... If we top deck for Plague, are you comfortable drawing whatever you're going to be drawing next turn is the real question. Yeah, I'm comfortable drawing Mizuki. Okay, so yeah. We just let it go. Oh, to the hand. And now we don't even have to... Uh... Actually, we don't even have to draw... Wait, what are you vanishing for? Oh, we, we would top deck for Plague. It doesn't matter what we put at the top because we don't have anything that shuffles. Right. We don't even really need this attack either. We can just sort of sit. I like that. I like that a lot because that saves the solemn. Uh, what do you have that's a seven here? Black Rose. Black Rose and Armor Master. So we go for Black Rose. No effects. And we know that they have a Gemini Spark and an unknown and two unknowns. So we can just end turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if I go into attacking Umizuki. 
and don't attack with the black rose right away. And he banishes it. We could just go off the burial. Deep uh, is fine. Yeah, we want this. We should go Cataster. We'll deep prison. Uh, deep prison for turn one that you held back. It's crazy how many options you have with this deck. It's... Yeah, so the, the thing I love about it is that it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything, and it's... The fact that you set everything, it's so hard to come back from, because I'm setting a Pyramid Turtle, I'm forcing you to attack, I'm forcing you into right. this, and then, oh, I have another monster. If I have a D.Va to go with that monster, oh, you're screwed. So that, that might be the spark right there. We knew we were drawing that. Um, I think we now we have to try to apply a little bit of pressure. I just want to summon the Mizuki and attack. Yeah, yeah. so summon the Mizuki, attack with that, and attack with the Black Rose. And see which one he deprisons, because he's gonna deprison one of them. Got some dueling book lag right now. If he torrentials right now, you're honestly you're fine with that. I just let him deprison this, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's all the cards accounted for. Yeah, so we know he has a spark in hand, or that's a spark that he set. It's really unfortunate for like have to say for heroes not drawing any uh Yeah. Alright, so hmm. Well you use a bottomless. So if we summon the diva, we synchro into a six. So it'd have to be a Goyo. Sorry, were you thinking it or sorry. I was thinking it. I'm sorry. We... No, no, it's it's fine. So the thing is let's see what he does. Because there's a there's another like if he doesn't bottomless this you're gonna end up winning this game because you have the Mizuki engraved in a burial on hand. Mm -hmm. um, so you could probably just go Goyo here. And... Talk. I'm assuming he has, an, he has a defensive trap, um, so I would just attack. Okay. You have no reason really to do anything else. Wow. So he, he set the spark is my guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we'll end turn. And then... See, I'm so greedy, I would have just exploded on the board there, and that would have possibly been a mistake. Well, if if we explode on the board, then we don't have a backup play. That's, yeah. the, that's the big thing. You're right. All right, so we have the Solemn Force. So now... Let... Oh, he's, he's going for Bubble Man. That's my guess. What that's the heck? Of, that's fine, because he can't spark. That's, why would he do that? Um, summon the Tomato... You think that might be Sengen Torrential? Um, or some jank like that? Okay, so we summon the tomato. I would push a bit here because I wouldn't not, not not battle phase yet. I would actually banish the Mizuki mm -hmm. and summon a Goblin Zombie in attack mode. Yep, and just push for damage. Yeah, so I would I, I would attack with I'd obviously attack with Goyo. Yeah. Is you don't want if it's a miracle fusion target. Oh my god. Okay, so you get your gamma zombie search. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And you're gonna search for Spirit Reaper. That's completely fine. Any specific reason you want Spirit Reaper here? Um, because you want to get rid of his. He has, he has a defensive trap or something set in his hand, um back there. And he has no hand advantage, so I'd set the force, and I'd just end. Okay, I like that. And now yeah, he has to set. Right, because now he has to acknowledge that you have a Reaper. Stratos is fine. He'll search for Alias. If he attacks... If he attacks here... Do we just... Um... Because we could go to go and just get Zombie, but... Um... Well, he's a 27. So that's true. And we he do have also, a solemn. He could also go for Miracle Fusion, which we don't really care about. He ends. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good card. So I would actually That makes me think he's scared to die this turn. Well he he set the spark. So uh -huh. he definitely has a Gemini Spark set. Um so one of those back row is useless. Mm -hmm. So you can do one of two things here. You can try to push for game, mm -hmm. or you can wait. So, what would, what would you do in this situation? Um, 
because I'm scared the longer this game goes on, the higher possibility of his deck right. actually working. Right, so assume that one of his one of his cards there is the spark. We, had, we know that for a fact because he has the alias in his hand. Um, what we could do mm -hmm. is if we summon the pyramid turtle and actually we summon the turtle and ram get the zombie master ram and then do 14 doesn't do anything. No. What you could do is burial your Mizuki plague. Mizuki plague, and for the sake of dark arm, we'll put back the the gale. Okay, so I do like that play, so I'm going to start with it. Uh, uh, Mizuki plague and the gale. Are we starting with the? Uh... We're starting with the plague, so we're going to miz banish Mizuki for plague. The whole goal here is to make it so he has to respond before we actually commit to the field. There's a chain. You probably change to the declaration of plague. So to I Mizuki banished... effect. Yep. All the haunted. The fossil diner for sure. Hmm. Do we let that go? Because we could still. Um. We know one's a spark now. That's fine. Summon the pyramid turtle. Mm -hmm. We run crash into the crash of the fossil diner with uh, the, oh with the turtle. With the, yep, you big brain man. Now he has to respond with what his other trap, which we know is his last responsive trap. Okay, cool. So now we get zombie master. You only play one. Yeah. yeah and then we just ram zombie master into Stratos. Then we do 14. That was a... You know, we didn't kill him that turn, but I still think it was a pretty successful turn. Well, here's the thing. If he summons the alias here... And you solemn it, which you're going to solemn it. We are, okay. I was literally about to say that. We're soloming uh, that, because if he miracle fuses, we have a mirror force. And we still have a reaper, and we still have a plague and grave. Yep. Come on, not even the match. What would you okay just for just for the video because he decided to just leave after that absolute stompage? What would you have cited here? Um. So we saw the hero engine, fossil dinas. I would have cited in soul release definitely because I'm afraid of miracle fusion, mm -hmm. dust tornadoes, and if we're going second, the crow. Um. I don't know. Well. If we're starting, I mean, maybe? Because the thing is... Hmm. We're handling the back row. We're handling his graveyard. It'd either be that or Kaiku. Cyber Dragon is also a massive problem for that deck. Ah, uh, because it's, it's 2100. Right, so <laughs> the thing is, I always struggle with what I'd be signing out in this particular matchup. I could see that I would, I... with this deck in general. I feel like you need every card in this deck. Yeah, I always sign out one book of life because you never want to open two of them. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going second, I always side out the dust shoot, of course. Mm -hmm. um, against this deck, do we need the crow? I kind, I mean, it's one of those things where I like crow in the side in the main, mm -hmm. but I'm scared of going it, to like crow and alias and like chain chain hero blast. Yeah, right. Because he also runs fossil dinosaur, so it's one of those things where. Once you get rid of the fossil down, he probably miracle fuses. So, hmm. Hmm. do we need the mind control and the brain control? I is if I side one of them out, I side both of them out. Mm -hmm. But that's interesting that you side that you side out brain controls. Well, the thing is, if I don't want to mind control their monster, I, I mean, I get brain control, I can attack and take it the same way. Mm -hmm. But the only difference between the two is I can attack and tribute, which is a big deal. But I feel like anything I, you brain control in that deck, they just Gemini spark it away so they get a plus. Right. Of it. It's that, and it's one of those things where, like, they had a compulse. Mm -hmm. We had ways around it. Mm -hmm. It's like, in that match, that's like a one off case, it's whatever. But. It, it, again, it's the case of if we're looking to side in four, let's see. So we're siding out of Book of Life, siding out of Dust Shoot. The lore unbricked us there, which is really good. Um, 
the deep prisons i like deep prisons even though it's like it's one of in this matchup it's whatever I How do you feel it. about Wing Blast in this matchup? Because I, I don't like Wing Blast in this matchup. I love the Deep Prison because if if you do hit the alias and it's gone, like that deck needs that card to work. Right. So let's take out the Wing Blast, and the last card I usually side out. It's gonna sound crazy. I usually side out a Sangin. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is that? What's your thought process behind that? So yeah, it's a fifth Goblin Zombie in reality, but at the same time, how often do you need it? I just realized why you said five goblin zombies because of the pyramid turtles. Right? Yeah, so yeah, so and it's basically Jesus it's Christ. that, or you can do the gale, or you can do the um, the crow. Um, I like the gale in the matchup just because it freely kills absolute zero. Yeah, that and I. All, this is why I didn't run three three Kais for the longest time. I usually ran two, mm -hmm. but I like that. I like that. All right. Um, do you, anything else you want to say to the people that are going to be watching this? All like thirty of them, maybe more in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give the deck a try. It's fun. Um, there are many versions of it. Don't listen to what people say where you don't have to run Doom Kaiser. Doom Kaiser is an absolute necessity in this deck. I think uh, you can, you've hurt you me with this card. Yeah, I OTK someone at the Stratos tournament um, where I revived King over their plague so they couldn't get rid of it mm -hmm. and then basically i summoned doom kaiser three times with the ability to summon it a fourth and i otk them with, with two cards i think you've hit me with revive king with um you've killed both my values and treeborn frogs with this card yeah it's In it is, it. if it wasn't for revive king and doom kaiser i don't think this deck would be viable I'm just I'm I'm just being completely honest. I could be way off off keel, but every deck needs the power cards. And, uh, and for zombies, it's Revive King and it's Doom Kaiser. And I mean, you you crap out level sixes like it's just Goblin Zombie Turbo into Plague Spreader and Divas. Yeah, it, it's one of the things where I'm also considering taking out the Chimera Tech and adding another six like a Flame Vent or a Quasis because I'm seeing a lot more like Frog, a lot more Plant. So it's like you have your tokens out there. It's like Pool or Quasis. 23 like or even just putting an armed wing in there although that's more specified just for the gale mm -hmm. but like it's the, one of those i like just the like, idea that's pretty solid right you just hit them for damage and you know they're sitting there saying why are you running a requesis it's just well you just put two tokens out there you did it for defense i'm hitting you for more damage so now you're going to have to overextend take rid of my requesis and then i have this extra resource that i plan on using anyway it's crazy. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, please make sure you like and subscribe. We somehow got six six subscribers in three days, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but to me it's pretty crazy because we just started. So thank you, and thank you, Jeremy, Mr. Cook. Of course. My pleasure. Looking forward to it.